Hello everyone, welcome from Frankfurt am Main, Germany to the review about a microphone. It's been a really long time since I did a review about a microphone for one of my cameras, but today is the day and I spend it a bit more on this one here since I think that Sennheiser is going or is producing good microphones, that's what I heard. And that's why we are having a look at this one here. That is the MKE440. That is a directional stereo microphone for about 300, 330 euros. I don't know how much it costs at the moment in the United States, but I will drop a link in the video description below. I know. I will spoil it now, but I tested this microphone already for three weeks and I'm really impressed with it. And I got an accessory for it and that's this one here. A windshield for this microphone. It's about 50 bucks. It has a special shape. That's why it's probably more expensive than other windshields. And let's have a look what's inside this package and we'll have a look at the build quality and after all of that we have a look no we hear how good the audio quality is enjoy and by the way if you would like to support my channel feel free to buy any of these two products from the link in the video description below if you have any further questions please make sure to leave a comment below and make also sure to follow me on Telegram. So here's the wonderful box Sennheiser. Some people said on Amazon that uh, Sennheiser is not producing in Germany anymore, but somewhere here on that package, uh, it's down here, it says designed and made in Germany. So I guess I have to trust this little note that it's designed and made in Germany and that the other information that's been produced in Romania is false. So here's the content of the box MKE440 microphone. We get two AAA batteries and a user manual. And that's optional, that's the MZH440. That's a four, four how do you call it, four windshield for the MKE440. So, um, how do you call it? Windshield. And that's this one here. So here's the user manual. I wasn't expecting something else from Sennheiser that they make it quite easy. As you can see, big graphics, how you put in the battery. At the side is a little LED, which indicates you have about 100 hours. Uh, if it's green and if you have less than four hours, it turns red. I never had it red for the last three weeks. Sensitivity down here and yeah, that's it. Cool. Sometimes it's really worth to have a look inside the user manual, guarantee card, two AAA batteries. Really good. You can start straight away. So many manufacturers don't do that anymore. And I'm really happy that Sennheiser decided to give you some batteries. That's really nice. So here's the microphone itself. It has an awesome build quality with this V shape here. Here's the brand name. The cold shoe, pretty cool. It's out of aluminum. So if you accidentally drop it or something else, these edges here won't break. And you do have a tripod mount at the lower side. Two or three switches on and off. By the way, I have some batteries already in there. Uh, high pass filter and sensitivity. Here's the battery compartment. It's much more easy than with all the other Rode microphones out there. And yes, to be honest, it feels really valuable. It feels like made in Germany, if that means something to you. 
The only downside is, I mean, the cable is quite long. No worries with that one, but it's fixed. So what are you gonna do if you accidentally break the cable? I don't know, you probably have to send it to Sennheiser and that will probably take a little while until you get back your microphone. So keep that in mind, that is fixed and that is the downside of this microphone. I can tell you that straight away. However, I expect that the, I expect that the cable will last as long as the microphone lasts, but that's a downside. I mean, it would be nice if you would be able to change it yourself. Here's the windshield. Hmm. Meow. Let's put it on. So that's how it looks like with the windshield attached to the microphone. As you can see, you still have access to all the switches, on off sensitivity and high pass filter. Cool. So let's roll it and I will give you some examples right now. Hello everyone, I'm in Frankfurt for you, uh, over at an Autobahn and there are just a few cars passing by at the moment but I already heard a jet just passing over myself and that's the Sennheiser MKE440 together with the Canon EOS R5 and the Samyang 14mm f2.8 and I'm just here because I do have a lot of background noise and it's now in my interest to find out how good this microphone filters out my voice. And this is without the high pass filter. Same camera, same lens, same settings and now I'm using the high pass filter to find out if that makes any difference here. So and that's me behind the microphone. Just for the case you would like to use this microphone to film an interview and you ask the question, now you know how it sounds like if you're standing behind the microphone at, let's call it, not a too busy road in Frankfurt. I kind of fell in love with this lens here and this camera. It's the Canon EOS R5 together with the Samyang 14mm 2.8 RF lens. So a native lens, so you, do, you don't need to use the adapter anymore. The autofocus is pretty good, so my eyes are in focus at all the time and it's doing a fantastic job. And if you have this microphone attached to the camera, um, I guess you have a pretty good, decent audio quality. And you can even use this um, microphone on any action camera out there, which if you buy the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter for the GoPro, for instance. Um, the only problem which might appear once you use it on an action camera is that this microphone sticks out and through the wide angle you might see it. And that's the only problem which might appear using this microphone on an action camera. But here on a DSLR like this I mean, your arm is going to fall off at a certain point, but if you travel a lot and you need a pretty decent video quality in 4K like I'm filming at the moment, you get what you deserve. So I just picked up some pasta from one of my favorite pasta stores in Frankfurt it's called My Pasta. If you ever have the chance to go to Frankfurt or visit Frankfurt and you would like to have some really nice pasta, self-made pasta, make sure to check out that store. It's called My Pasta by D'Angelo. It's really good. I'm not joking. It's kind of an example how a lot of people out there would vlog themselves. So if you would like to show your audience your favorite coffee places 
or your favorite food places with the Sennheiser MKE 440 or the Samyang 14mm filmed with a full frame camera by Canon. That's how it looks like. So how do you get the correct audio? I went into my camera's menu, I went to audio recording and I set the rec level to approximately minus 12 to minus 6 decibels when I use an external microphone like this. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, another occasion where I would use this microphone is in Frankfurt. I'm doing now a little interview just for you, uh, filming with the Canon EOS R5 and the Samyang 14mm 2.8 RF. I'm at Hedi Schuh. Uh, this guy is a shoemaker from Frankfurt. He's selling handmade shoes, belts, he's repairing your shoes, your bags, he has a lot of accessories for your shoes, cream, brushes, and all sort of things. If you have a big foot, then he's able to make really big shoes, handmade of course. And that's that's Hedi actually. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> Hedi, for, for how long do you own the store? So how long have you been in the store now? Uh, since 2009. 2009? Nine years. 2009? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were here like 2016. Or oh, you had a different store somewhere else. Uh, it's different. Uh, 16 here. Uh, two but two uh, but uh, since 2009. You're doing that? You're doing, I, I'm doing that. Okay, yes. cool. So let's assume someone would like to buy handmade shoes. Yeah. How long does it take? Once a shoe starts from zero and is finished at a hundred percent, how long does it take to make a shoe? Sometimes uh, six or seven or eight uh, week. Years. Years. So and, and you're cleaning the shoes as well. Yeah. So if someone is in a rush and he says, "Oh, here's my uniform shoes," or "I need, I have an appointment at the bank," how long does it take you? To, to to finish his shoes. So once someone wants to clean these shoes, how long does it take? So if uh, he comes in in the morning, mm -hmm. how long does it take? Five hours, six hours. So S roughly that. Roughly okay. Yeah, okay. And um, what other type of stuff do you do? So you're making shoes. You're making yeah, belts. belts. And uh, uh, also for animals like these kind of. Uh, yes. Uh, what, what, uh, it's called Halsband in Germany, but I don't know how it's called. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's called in English, though. Yes. And, uh, so you're cleaning the shoes, you're making the shoes, you have these kind of belts, all sorts of different materials for your shoes. So these ones are a little bit cheaper, since these ones are kind of handmade. It's handmade, but... Uh, don't usually, uh, but they do more, more than just one, yeah, yeah, so they're yeah. not that kind of individual shoes, yeah, okay? Yes, yeah. Um, so nice. So, if someone's out there who's looking for a pretty individual shoe, get this one here. And if someone 
is coming in and says, well, I'm here to visit Germany or Frankfurt for two or three weeks. Yeah. And he wants to get handmade shoes. Yeah. Is there any kind of possibility to, to create these shoes like in an express way? I can't, yes, but uh, I need two weeks. You need at least two at weeks least to finish two, these yes. shoes, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> and so if you're ever in Frankfurt, make sure to check out this wonderful place with all these handmade shoes, tools, and uh, just imagine you get one pair of shoe, handmade, more expensive, than usual. However, they probably last longer than all these kind of shoes that you get for hundred bucks. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any further questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. If you would like to support my channel, feel free to buy it from the link in the video description below. Um, I'm really happy with this microphone. It, is a, it was a really good decision to buy it for myself because I, am, I have a kind of new project that I'm working on at the moment and I really wanted to have a good audio quality, so I spent a little bit more than I actually would have done like a year ago, but I love it. Uh, yes, that's about it. Well, as I said at the beginning of this review, the only downside is that you can't change the cable for yourself. Thanks for your undivided attention and make also sure to follow me on Telegram where you get all the updates about the upcoming reviews. See you soon und tschüss aus Frankfurt.